It's important to recommend to customers that they look at their whole lifestyle rather than just one aspect. So diet is obviously very important. Recommending to reduce the saturated fat content of the diet through removing visible fat from meat and reducing consumption of butter and cheese, for example, are great ways to reduce risk, as is recommending reducing salt in the diet from taking out the processed foods, eating less of them, fewer ready meals and bread and cereals, for example, and cooking with herbs and spices to flavor the food rather than adding salt. Also, it's important to recommend eating at least five portions of fruit and vegetables a day to really reduce those risk factors, incorporating oily fish into the diet and lots of whole grains for a source of fiber and, and essential vitamins and minerals. These are all great ways to recommend improvements to the diet. It's also really important to recommend incorporating physical activity into the lifestyle. So it isn't a case of recommending to customers that they join a gym or start engaging in really strenuous physical activity. It's about incorporating physical activity into the lifestyle. So it can be as simple as parking a bit further away in the car park so you have a little bit further to walk. Um, it can be recommending that customers go for a walk in the evening, take the dog for a walk, go and play with the children, taking the stairs rather than the lift. These are all ways that customers can really put physical activity into their lifestyle without it being onerous for them. Finally, it's really important to look at some of the less healthy habits uh, that customers might have in their lifestyle. So smoking, for example, really important to recommend that they quit smoking as quickly as they possibly can and seek help and support in doing so because this is a really high risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. And finally, looking at alcohol intake. So you don't have to recommend complete abstinence, but I would definitely recommend three to four alcohol-free nights a week. And when alcohol is consumed, don't binge on it. Don't consume more than six units in one night, uh, but just consume a moderate amount of alcohol a few nights a week and leave it at that.